Welcome if you're watching this on YouTube, I am Lionheart, or today, Lionhead X10. Uh, welcome to Planet Zoo, the game is now out, I tried it a little bit when it was in beta. Uh, our career progress has carried on over, so that's good, so we can continue through it. That's also part of the tutorial apparently, so I think we'll do a refresher through that, and we'll kick things off. Uh, I picked up this mask at the shops, it was discounted left over from Halloween. It is incredibly uncomfortable, so most likely it will get taken off soon. But uh, I don't know. Maybe if uh, people donate or sub, then uh, I'll have to put it on for a set amount of time or something like that. I don't know. There's something really unsettling about the mask. <laughs> but welcome. Anyway, let's continue with some more A Planet Zoo. So we've got the Apprenticeship. I love it. The Madagascan Simian Conservation Project. It's part of the tutorial because we already did Goodwin House in the beta. So, Conservation Zoo is the combination of Bernard Goodwin's work in the region, specialising in simian bread or simian breed and release uh, programs, as well as championing and highlighting the diverse species of apes and monkeys. Oh, never one to be complacent, Bernard now wants to see what you can do in this most promising of locations. Let's begin! Did I just hear me out? You might do. I think my cats are fighting. I've got I've got lion fur in my face. Aha! It's in the eye holes. No, Mendel. No, don't do it, Mendel. Welcome to Madagascar. It's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> Apart from the weather, I suppose. They don't call these places rainforest for nothing. <laughs> the zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary where we're doing vitally important conservation work. Not just for apes, but for all kinds of species. But apes, well, apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there are. And yet, the way the world treats them is like, well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives. <laughs> anyway, that's why I'm determined that our operation here does some good. If we can all leave some part of the world in a better state than we found it, we'll have lived lives worth living. And speaking of states, I have a horrible feeling I left the house in a right one. <laughs> when I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you think Bernie. of Madagascar then? Bit warm for my tastes, to be honest. Anyway, this is Bernie's primate sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? We'll start by taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. They're the ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. Okie dokie. Yeah, as many of you uh, saw then, I just realised... Uh, I can't drink my drink. The mouth hole is not there. <laughs> I'm a thirsty boy. Yeah, it does. The game does look beautiful. It looks gorgeous. And performance wise, people it, are coming to the castle. It is running much better than the base did. Thank you very much, uh, Giggles Chits. <laughs> Chew off your face, or Chits. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is very, very pretty. So we need to look Red at this blue zone. Red lemurs are found in the rainforests of Masuala. That's in northeast Madagascar. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. Fancy that, eh? Okay, when you're ready, let's go find our Borny and orangutans. Look how cute and fluffy they look. Look at that tail. I love it. Right, what are we going to look at now? The orangutans, was it? Objectives. Locate the highlighted area. Orangutan. The Bornean orangutan is such a marvellous creature. They're always a big favourite at any zoo they feature in. And they're also the biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. Oh, why don't you take a better look at them? 
Open up that information panel and go into the animal camera. Already there, Nancy. Aren't they just incredible? When you're ready, let's go and have a look see at some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> They're quite the characters. I admit, the, the, the models in this game for the animals, it is amazing. <laughs> so you're a furry now. I'm not a furry now. We, oh, we're at his ass. <laughs> we're on full on butt cam. There we go. Let's zoom out. Not a furry. This is uh, just what you get when you go into Sainsbury's after Halloween and uh, everything is like 50p. William Rangutang. Yeah, the, grab, I'm running this on the high preset and oh, it dear. is gorgeous. It looks like we've arrived just in time. One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. What? No, oh, monkeys you know escaped. One of the bonobos has made a run for it. We'll need to catch them. But before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. Oh yeah, box them all Select up. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. Oh, there we go. Good. Now open the animals tab. Animals tab. And click on box all animals. Box, to box them up all. The remaining bonobos. <laughs> They're now in boxes. Now we'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo. But it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. Not an ideal situation. So not we'll really. need to hire a replacement, sharpish. Have you guys thought about Go maybe into the zoo section and then into the staff management area? Have you guys thought about maybe hiring someone before the other one left? You can find all of your staff in here, but there's no time to go looking at their particulars at the moment. All right, all Hire right. Hire a vet. Hire a vet. There now, we go. click on one of the paths to place the vet in your zoo. Yep. Great. Now let's deal with our SKP before they can cause too much havoc. Use the animal alert to jump to the escaped bonobo. And then click on the call vet button to call the vet over to capture it. Come get him. <sighs> Okay, that's the relief. <laughs> so while the vet deals with our bonobo friend, let's go fix up their habitat so they can't escape again. <laughs> Head back over there. He's a chicken monkey. I want to I wanna follow him around. I want to see where he's going. I mean... I don't think you should all be, like, running around like crazy. I mean, I have seen Planet of the Apes, but... Don't upset the poor guy. <laughs> Nancy's voice actor is great. I know, right? Oh, oh, he's down. And he's been boxed up. There we go. Right. Um, go back over here then. We need to fix that hole. As you can see, the barriers collapsed. Yes. Someone's taken their eye off the ball, obviously. Let's get this one replaced. Select the barrier and then we'll edit it. Delete the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. Oh, oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, Nancy. I've clicked the wrong thing here. Oh, God, I'm clicking wrong things. Edit barrier. Not just... Good. Now oh, that we've done whoops. that, we need to make sure to add climb-proof barriers to the top. That go. way the bonobos won't be able to climb out. Just make sure you've got the correct piece of barrier selected when you do that. Right. Um. Okay, <clears throat> so go into the options section and select which side the climb-proof barrier needs to go on. And don't get it wrong. <laughs> We're more worried about bonobos climbing out than guests climbing in. Okay. That section. I don't remember all the commands for all this now. Oh god. The mask is really helping with your visibility. I know, I can I can <laughs> I can't see what's going on. If I just Oh, has that got the, is that the anti-climb there? Okay, 
case it needs to be that side then, doesn't it? There we go. Nicely done. And I think it's high time we unbox those bonobos, wouldn't you say? Oh yes, let's unbox the them. The poor mites will get sad if we leave them in there for too long. Select the habitat barrier to bring up the habitat information panel again. So, it turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. You see, mechanics do all sorts of helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. <laughs> Without mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will crack, crumble and fall down. And before you know it, we'll be overrun with escaped animals. Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management area again. We have been busy, haven't we? Good work there. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. Oh, goody. Bonobo unboxing. Oh, I hear you had a bit of an issue with an escape bonobo. The main thing is that you dealt with it swiftly. And more importantly, without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. You see, another key responsibility for our vets is animal research. Researching animals allows vets to unlock new enrichment items, additional information for our education resources, enhanced breeding programs, and improvements to food quality. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the animal's food, not the vet's. It'll take more than a research grant to improve the staff canteen. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, research is a key part of running your zoo. In order for a vet to undertake research, they require a research center. And once again, that's something that this zoo is missing. So let's build one. I've marked out an area for you to put it. Okie dokie. Ah, there it is. Now, you've probably noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research centre. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. So we're able to place our new building inside of it. If you select the research center for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research center to the existing building. I mean, it doesn't. Okay, click to add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in just yet. People though. are coming to the First, castle. We need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. Chris G subscribe. Thank you very much. Cheer off your face, so you've gone full lion mode. I have, although I think I'm only going to survive it a few more minutes. <laughs> oh dear. Make a bet on how long you can last with the mask on. I was literally thinking, oh, I take it off already. I'm really thirsty. Can't drink. <laughs> um, how do I how do I rotate? I wasn't listening. Oh, here we go. Here's the controls. Um, rotate. Ah, there we go. Or or it's. Toggle advance. Oh no, not advanced mode. Oh god. Oh, isn't it like base bar as well? There we go. Boom. Right. Splendid work. Now that we have a brand spanking new research center, we can give our vet something to do in there. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to do any other jobs. That said, you can change what jobs a vet does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that just now. So, let's get our vet researching ring-tailed lemurs. Go okay, into the okay. zoo section and select vet research. Oh, exit. Um, visiting player alerts. Oh, cool. I was visiting my zoo. Nice. Um, I need to be doing our zoo. Here, Pet research. you can see a list of all the animals present in your zoo. And also all the potential diseases that can occur. Now, drag and drop your vet onto the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. Oh, nice. You can just drag and drop them. Wait. Actually, thinking about it... I'm not sure we've got any education boards or speakers by the lemurs' habitat. Let's head over Nancy, there and Nancy, answer. Nancy, Nancy, so guests can learn all about the furry little delights. The furry little delights. 
Right. So, uh, what, sorry, what? Come again? Uh, silver, locate the highlighted area. There it is. Oh, wait, First off, let's pop down two education boards. Place them on the habitat barriers at a height that guests can see, or, if you like, pop them down on a stand. Oh, it's a tiny little one. All your moddies. The cheeky little lemur. That's great. Um, right, so we need to place education boards, facilities. Um, guest facilities. Nope. Where be it? Viewing devices. Education habitat board. Oh god. Why are they still like starting off flat? That's the thing. Oh, no. Exit. And from the drop down list, select ring tailed lemur. Although I'm sure that last part was obvious. When you link an education board or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it isn't, the guests will get confused and won't learn as much. There we go. Pop it up there. Okay. Now that they've been put into position, we have to tell them what animal to display information about. There we Select go. one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. Turn on a line surface to make a kidaki. People are coming to the castle. People are coming to the castle. Baseball just subscribe. Thank you very much. 28 months, Baseball Justin. <laughs> You're off your face. Um, angle snap. Flatten terrain. Line to surface. That's much better. We've got to do speakers. Place the little speaker on top. Now that we've done the education boards, let's pop down a pair of speakers. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals, instead of having to go through the laborious process of reading. People are coming to the castle. One thing to bear in mind is that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. I see. Nero Thank Fantastic. you very much for subscribing. Oh, <laughs> You're off your face. Education boards and speakers both need power to work. They won't do much good without it. Ooh, it looks as though our vet has completed their research on ring-tailed lemurs. We'll need to collect the results. We can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into the vet research area. Go on, collect your research rewards. Go on. Just so you know, I love it. vets will continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. Oh, good. <laughs> I suppose when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. When you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Well, now that we've enriched the lives of our guests, let's enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. Some animals, like lemurs, will have a climbing need. That means they have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing space. And you can fulfill that requirement by building them a climbing frame. Let's find out how much more climbing space our lemur friends need, shall we? Select one of them and bring up their information panel. I want to click on the little one. Next, click on the terrain tab. Ethan! Picky little lemur. Uh, now, as you can see, the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. But as it happens, I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. So, you can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. Okay. By the way, it's not always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. Other animals might need a certain amount of water in their habitat so they can go for a swim. <laughs> they certainly do keep us on our toes. Outside of placement area, I think not. There we go. 
that's a great climbing frame for them. Oh, They're going to absolutely love it. Not on the ground, Do though. You know what would make them even happier, though? Nicer food. But that's true of all of us, though, isn't it? You can unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lima habitat. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it into the ground so it doesn't look weird. There we go. Awesome! That ringtail lima, food quality 2. God, everything is itchy now. Yes, you can name them, which is pretty cool. So, if we wanted to... We can rename this one. Oh wait, hang on. I was going to try and find a male one. For Justin! Oh, why did it not accept it? There we go. You are now Ringtail Lima, Baseball Justin. Right, what have I got to do? Uh, oh, that's a great climbing yeah, tell me, frame tell me what for them. Do. They're going to absolutely love it. Do you know what would make them even happier, though? Nicer food. But that's true of all of us, though, isn't it? You can unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lemur habitat. Select the lemur habitat, okay. Lovely. Now select the animals tab. Ah, there we go. There we go. As you can see, we can set the food quality in here. Just click on the drop-down menu and select Grade 2 Food Quality. Grade 2 Food Quality. My mouth's already watering. Yeah. So, oh. a new Not climbing long. frame and better food. Oh, you've really spoilt those lemurs rotten. I have. Now, yeah. I think it's time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities. Releasing animals into the wild. Dun, you see, dun, when we dun. feel an animal is ready, we can release them into the wild. But what makes an animal a good candidate for release? Well, their age is an important factor. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too old. They'll also need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild, so the best candidates will have a high fertility gene. And together, the age and fertility of a candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Now, conservation credits are vitally important. They're the lifeblood of your zoo, because earning them allows you to adopt even more animals. And what's more, the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. So, with that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. Ooh, the orangutans. Okay. I'd like you to find Agang, the Bornean orangutan in the habitat, and select him, please. You can either click through each orangutan in turn, or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab in the habitat information panel, and find him in the animals list. There we go. Release him to the wild. Be free. People are coming to the castle. Kev, just subscribe. Thank you very much. Two months with the Twitch Prime. <laughs> Chew off your face. I know it's sad to see him go, but he'll be happy out in the wild. And he's a wonderful candidate for release. Young, strong and fertile. Excellent work there. You've definitely got potential, you know. Good, good. Right, I'm going to keep this mask on until we complete this, uh, ah, this level. I see you've been doing <laughs> some homework. Although, oh dear. it hardly seems like work when you're learning about something as adorable as a ring-tailed lemur. I imagine I'd have got much better grades at school if there'd been less algebra and more aldebra. Tortoises. Okay, so far we've done a lot <laughs> okay of work there, with buddy. habitat animals, but now it's time to learn all about exhibit animals. 
Yeah. Let's build a brand new exhibit. I love that you can fit them all into How the little we head over there? Fernal bits that, you know, will make it beam now let's nicely. Build a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. Just add it to the building like we did with the research centre earlier. Then pop it into the gap. Um, add to building. Perfect. There we go. The next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there. How about a healer monster? Open up the exhibit trading section and adopt one. Healer monster. Okay. Adopt. Just as we do with habitat animals, we need to send the healer monster to the exhibit. Click on the exhibit to send it there. When you send an animal to an exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct setup. But that doesn't mean it's completely ready for them. So let's finish it off. We'll start by adding some enrichment items. Click on the exhibit to bring up its information panel. Good. Now click on the layout tab. Okay. As I'm sure you know by now, you can unlock more enrichment levels by having one of your vets do some research. Now we'll also need to set the temperature and humidity in the exhibit. These are vitally important for keeping our healer monster happy and comfortable. Click on the Climate tab. Here, you can see the Gila Monster's desired temperature and humidity. You can change both of these by adjusting the dials below. Make sure it's going to be nice and cozy. Okie dokie. Uh, Metal Bean says, if we get to 90 subs by the end of the level, will you keep it on for another level? Uh, I'll keep it on until we achieve uh, the star in each level. So we'll go into the next level and we'll, I'll keep it on until we get to bronze. If we can get to... Do we get to 90? We're on 83 at the moment. So let's increase temperature. Maximise the humidity. Oh no, it needs to be not humid at all. Whoopsie. 30%. Temperature isn't high enough yet. We'll go to 35. And he never completed the level. <laughs> it's not a master line, just unsubscribe from Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> oh dear. Right, humidity needs to go down a little bit more. We'll take it 20%. And uh, we'll take this to 38. Perfect. That's the ticket. And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows. So click on the Windows tab. You can edit and customise any of the windows on an exhibit. A window can be closed and blank, or have a two-dimensional background, or even a three-dimensional background on it. Why don't you have a play around with the options? There's also an exhibit education board. Pop them down near your exhibit to oh, teach cool. your guests about them. Let's add one now. Let's go for... it's that one. Yeah, let's close up the one in between the two. And have that there. Noise. And then we've currently got... I think it's Benjamin in here. This is definitely a Tim though. Tim! There we go, right, next objective. So it's an education board, okie dokie. There we go. 
Lovely stuff. Now our guests can learn all about our venomous friend here. Right. Lovely. Now, I've got a bit of a big job for People you. are coming I to the castle. To increase the number of species in the zoo. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Go on, off you pop. People are coming I'll to the castle. When you're almost done. Okay, thank you very much. And wow, baseball just thank you very much for gifting five tier one subs to the community. So welcome, um, Sprug, Uteria, People Francis, are coming to the castle. Finarani. And Ghost Boy. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Ding, ding, ding. People are coming to the castle. People are coming to the castle. Right, so have at least 12 species in the zoo. I'm just going to lift off the bottom just so I can have a drink. Because oh, so thirsty. Oh, my days. People are coming to the castle. Oh. Most uncomfortable ever. I suffer for my art. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, we've got. It's saying we've got nine species then in the zoo. Let's have a look. Species one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, ruffled lemur. Yeah, so we've got nine. So uh, what other animals can we get? Let's go to... Yeah. Animal trading is what I want. Can we get any... Why can I not search for any? Take what's available. Can I can I search for a species? Filter. And we get some lions, seeing as I'm wearing this big old mask. There are no lions available in the market. Okay. Any species. Um, oh, right. We need to build a habitat. Uh, first of all, I need to probably work out what I'm going to go for, though, don't I? Oh, look, loads of people are coming to visit my zoo. That's nice. Um... Giant burrowing cock cockroach. We could probably do it quite easy with just exhibits, couldn't we? That's the moan of a man who knows he's going to have to wear a mask for another hour and he knows it. It's so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, no. Um, you know what? Let's, place, let's do another exhibit because that's an easy way. We only need three more species there. Where can I easily place another one? Is there space to drop another one? I just need to create a brand new zone. People coming over here, aren't they? Oh, no, oh, no what's that? There's, there's a hole here. I'm going to utilize this hole. Um, could we have it a bit lower? Ah! Uh, there we go. Boom! Alright, what can we get in here? We can get some burrowing cockroaches. How much subs for the whole lion costume? I actually do have a lion onesie. It's just under the bed somewhere. If we... Uh, <laughs> 
if we if we get to a hundred subs, um, I'll uh, I'll wear it for the next I'll wear it next Wednesday, when I'm next year. Well, actually, I might I might be able to stream this tomorrow actually. Okay, if we, if we get if we get to a hundred subs today, I'll wear the lion onesie and I'll stream more of this tomorrow afternoon. Um, right, what can I? Oh, look, a lesser. And Tilian Iguana. Let's get let's get some of them. Oh, and he's called Pedro. I love it. Let's get Pedro. I will adopt you, Pedro. Pop you right in there, boy. Do you need a friend, Mr. Pedro? Look at a big boy Pedro. My question is, why do I have a lion onesie? Uh, my answer is, why not to have a, a lion onesie? <laughs> um, right, humidity. Right, right, right. It's not humid enough. Oh no, it is too, it's too humid. Let's take it to 60. Temperature is bang on at 30. Ooh, it needs to be a, 55 we'll go to. It'd be a happy iguana. Pedro, you happy now? The layout. You need some enrichment. Uh, layout. Let's give you all some twigs and branches. A mossy rock or five. Look at that. You're loving it now. You have a dragon one. A dragon onesie is awesome. Alright, Pedro's happy. Should now have oh have we already it's just nine species. Pretty sure. I thought Pedro was a new species. Oh no. Edward, we already had Eduardo. No. People are coming to the castle. Eduardo was already there. With Pedro, that's a fantastic name though. I knew he just subscribed. Thank you very much. Oh, it's baseball just gifting two tier one subs. <laughs> I know. And day Alex. People are Chew coming your to face. the castle. <laughs> Chew off your face. Thank you very much. Oh god, I hate my life right now. <laughs> like I'm wearing this mask for another hour. Right. Um let's Let's see. What have we got? We've got all the monkeys. Let's make a couple of like small exhibits for some animals over here then. See what we're going to get first of all. It's available. We haven't got. Have we got any of these guys? I don't think we have any uh, tapirs. Yeah, so they count. Gods really want the lion heart onesie. <laughs> okay, so let's your nine point three. How how you're halfway through life. Your gold. Let's go for this uh she's thir oh, thirteen. What about you? A bit small. Okay, let's go for you. Let's adopt you. Um, we should get your friend. I've got a pair of them. make a nice little square over here. Off at an angle. Thank you very much, baseball. Much appreciated. 
But can you guys actually hear? I'm assuming you guys can hear me fairly well. There we go. New enclosure. We'll put some put some glass into it as well. in there. Oh, here we go. Glass. Why does not let me put glass in? Ah, oh, there we go. I bet some people can look in from the side. There we go. Nice big glassy zone. We've got to keep the path the same through this. Let's uh, increase the length. Get it straight there, and then we want to take off angle snap. Uh, won't you let... There we go. Boom. Yeah, let's bring back all the nostalgia of Zoo Tycoon and things like that. I, mean, I just remember what I played of the beta. It's just everything's so intuitive, and there's just there's People so much are to do. To the castle. Like, I could I could probably spend the whole rest of the stream just doing this whole this enclosure. Thank you very much, Ron Course, for subscribing. <laughs> Drew off your face, tier one sub, two months. I kind of feel that's the sign of a good game, though, if uh, there's just so much that you can do in the minor details of something before you even get to, you know, we're, st we're just completing the, the level to gold star, but there's just so much to do in just creating this little enclosure. Just so much, so many options for customization. Are we still going with Lionhead stuff? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I said I want once we complete this level on gold, then I said I'll, I'll take it off. But if we get to a hundred subs by the um, end of the stream, then um, I'll wear a onesie, a lion onesie tomorrow. Right, that's the path all the way around. I don't quite like this bit here. Because it won't bend around there. Oh, 
make it any smaller than it currently is, so... Probably like this whole section here. If we... Just bring it round a little bit there, we can get a better... Right, that's not enough. Bring it out a smidge more. I can't get the turn on it. I might need to flatten the land. I think it's it's not the land, it's because I'm getting too close to the fence there, but there we go. Just had to tweak it. But I'm getting too close to the actual post of the enclosure. There we go. Nice. Right, we've got a path in there. Let's literally just chuck our animals in. Oh, wait. Invalid because I haven't put an actual gate in here. Right, now it should work because it will count as an enclosure. There we go. Because then once we place them, we can check all their information about what they actually need. I'm going to have it at an angle. Just leave a hole there. It's fine. Could just... I could just move it there. There we go. Uh, no, why are you... Why are you outside the house? Stop it! What are you doing? Build a bridge over water and drag the exhibit to the edge of the water. Oh, a bridge over here. To be fair, there is a section... What's going on here? Uh, it's down to a power bit. Is this just staff only? Oh, that's really cool. Look at how they've done this. They've done it so that the public walk around the top part, but underneath, that's where all the staff part, staff walk area is, because you can separate them off. Oh, and you've got glass all the way down here. That's really cool. That's a really cool design. It freaked out because I moved the door, yeah. I thought we got the hippos down here. Oh, that's where they are. They're all in here. Uh, let's go back to animal trading. Has it still freaked out? Cancel move. Now he's got the box. Alright, that one's in there. I thought I got two of them. Research is complete! Huzzah! I've lasted a lot longer than you thought I would, what with the mask on. I'm committed to it. Um. This is unavailable for... Oh, we've got to have them in the zoo before they can be researched. That makes sense. Why aren't you going any further? You're the other one that's got stuck. I'm going to move you in here. There. That fixed you yet? Yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah, freaked out because I moved the door. Here we go. So objective-wise, we have ten species. 
Right, let's make you guys a nice habitat. So, if we pause things, just so you guys don't get too unhappy. Your environment. You are South Central America. You like tropical biomes, temperate, and grassland. So, go in here. No, I need to go to nature, I think. No, I actually need to go to terrain, is what I need to go to. Or am I wrong in thinking that I need to go there? Yeah, well, I'm trying to remember where it was in the beta. I could select via uh, by biome. Where do I go to put in the actual, like, grass for them? That's grass, that's rock. They're in nature. Okay, biome, here we go. So, tropical. Temperate. And grassland. Oh, so it's just adding all this in. And, oh, yeah, because it's yeah, something different, isn't it, to see... Coverage of just grass or terrain. Here we go. Here we go. Land area. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. So they're happy with actually the layout of this. Totally fine. They need some water. So what we'll do is we'll take the size down a little bit. Back. We'll make them a little pool here. Arm water. There's a little bit of water on there. Oh yeah, that bit's... There we go. Love how you can do the different water levels. You have to just see if it's all going to match. That is not matching. But that's fine because we can just take it all away from that so they can get down to it nice and easily. That bit back up. Okay, right, they've now got enough water. That's good. Take terrain off, they need more short grass. Right, they've now got enough of all the terrain types. They need a hard shelter. There's Lionheart now, Lionhead. Uh, Lionhead X10, it's my new name, don't wear it out. Habitat. Beds and shelters. fit in with the enclosure. Need more than just the one. Uh, 
let's take that one down a smidge. Need some more hard shelter. Um, I will. Bedding. Does that not count? They don't want some bedding. Uh -oh. do then is we'll get some rocks and make you some shelter out of some rocks. Is this the furry enclosure? Yeah, I'm going to build my little cave. Thinking we'll build a little cave over here in the middle of the enclosure people can come check out. them a little cave. This is another thing that I really like. You can literally create your own shelters. This is really cool. need a big old rock to go on top. Snapping options, yeah, there's loads. There's loads you can have. Right, now we just need a big flat rock like this. And if we look at the hard shelter a bit, it should hopefully go up because it should accept that this is counting as um, as, a, as a bit of shelter. Yeah. On, sitting on top right it isn't always easy. And I wonder if I do no, that's not helping. Hit your face. Do it there and do another one on the other side. Attempt to. Uh, okay, let's try a different bit of rock. There we go. That's gone forty six percent. Yeah, I need to like make a middle post or something. Just gonna put some bigger rocks at the back here, I think. Cover it all up. I feel like they need like a pretty large shelter area. They've done a poo. They're probably also not happy that they didn't have any food. Let me just give them some food. Can I hear random cat noises climbing on things? Right, let's give them that. And then... Yeah, 
gets rotate. Oh, uh, it's yeah. There's a there's a kitten in the room. I could hear noises. What are you playing with, boyo? Kitty Heart X10. Hello, boy. Probably like, who the hell are you? As long as I don't hear chewing, yeah. <laughs> That's always the scary thing. Like, is he chewing through a wire? Uh, why can't I make this a column? There we go, that's white. Right, at least I can put columns up. QE just kind of moves me around. That's fine, but yeah, you two still aren't happy with your hard shelter. So I need to make it bigger. We'll just offer you more of them. So let's make it. Let's make another one. That's massive rock. Add a big rock. They're really big rocks. Rock cladding. I don't, I don't want as big rocks. That has smaller rock. Actually, could we make? Oh God. We make this jutted out over like a thick. We make some shelter underneath it at that angle, and we then add a roof rock. some of these big boy stones on the side. Make a nice big enclosure. They want to sleep in. Got a little little hut, and they've got the big one. Um, let's put more cladding on top. Not, it's definitely not pretty, this one. <laughs> oh, dear. We'll get the job done, though. Get the job done.
Yeah, it, I'm definitely not going to win any awards here for uh, for how it looks. Right, I should hold it up. Good. They've got 100% hard shelter now. They love it. Look at it. Boom. That'll do. <laughs> Boom. Right. Are they... They're, they're fairly happy now, right? We... I mean... Oh, no, they're not. Welfare. They're enrichment. They need some toys. Okay. I'm guessing, yeah, we don't have anything for them because I haven't researched any of their... You've been in a box to... Well... Unbox. Why are you... Why are you in a box? Can I research them now? I can. I've already researched those stuff, so we should now be able to get the enrichment in. Enrichment! Oh, that's because it was set to climb ball. Whoopsie. Here, have a ball. Large barrel feeder. And a herb scent marker. Oh no, the barrel's rolling! Barrel roll! How about a fruit spike tree? Now oh, they're much happier with it. And they need some plants. Yes, you do. And plant wise. You like plants from those biomes. Nature! some lily pads under the water. <laughs> oh, they don't like those. Seriously, they don't like my bushes. from and he's filtered by that as well. South Central America. There we go. some stumps and some banana palms there we go I don't actually need to make them happy for the objective but uh, I'm being nice to them so there they go right they're all happy um, let's see if I can just throw in if I can just do a couple of uh, exhibitions then we can move on to the next one so we we'll want to do exhibit trading got the beetles already I don't think we've got any land snails, and uh, oh no, we don't have any frogs either. Cool, right? We'll do some little ex exhibitions. Let's do some more of this. We'll do a line to grid. To, we need to get a nice flat area. That's what we need. There we go. 
flatten to the foundation, please. We have enough room for some exhibitions over here. Oh, uh, is that ramp staff? Ah, uh, that's why I was coming here. That makes loads more sense now. That makes way more sense. Ah, what am I doing? What's happening? Go away. Unsnap, damn it. Why are we in the water? Thank you. Clearly clicked on something. That is an awkward bit of stairs. Thank you. There we go. Now it's fine. Thank you, Patrick the Fox. Right. Now we've got a path in there. They'll all come and visit my lovely enclosure that I've spent ages building. Uh, exhibition. Oh, nice bit of decking. Why are you not let me have my decking dream? This is this is messy pathways. This is. Uh, I just want to make a nice little. Like, have they done their big old? It's just a really wide path, I think they've done. They managed to fit like so much on it. Let's just clear all that way. Why does that one want to be up in? Is that because it's not completely flat? Probably. Oh god, I'm, I'm making a proper cock up of this. Right. 
that goes straight in there. That goes in there. That runs around here. Why can't we just have it link around like that up there? There we go. Oh, we got there. Can we have that sit link up? No. Probably more because of the fact that that path's squiffy. Oh wow. It is messy there. Yeah, I literally, I just want it to, to swing around the corner. Is that too much to ask for? Apparently so. Um, path supports, curve slopes. Again, there we go. Boom! Finally! <laughs> Just keep moving it along. Keep going there. Now turn around. There we go. Just don't let it curve into the building and you're fine. Boom! Right, we finally <laughs> have our perfect decking area. There we go. Ay, 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 ay. Right, the pathway up is done. I don't know why the edges are gone now, but I'm not going to worry about it. Right, now let's get in here. A snail. Then to zoo. In you go. And then in the other one, we are going to pop in this frog. My, my, you have been oh, God damn it! <laughs> I thought I could take the mask off now. We've all these lovely new species. We need to make sure they're nice and happy. So let's get the average welfare across the zoo nice and high, shall we? And by we, I mean you. Go on, get to Thanks, it. Thanks, Nancy. Yeah, low welfare. The welfare. Oh, no power. And all that. Oh wow, all the different. Oh wow, yeah, all the individual bits. Oh. Oh, I should have. That's what I should have placed down first. But yeah, we need. Um. Power. Utility. Got water treatment. A transformer. Yeah, they've got one over here that they've hidden. Oh, they've, they've done it really nicely. I will not do it as well. <laughs> so actually, we could just create a little, pop a little solar panel here. That would that would do things well. Boom.
Right. I sort out my frogs. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you say the heat and discomfort from that mask is harming my gameplay ability? It's, it's honestly, the, 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 it's not too hot, it's just a bit itchy, and um, I can't really see out the eyes that well, to be honest. Hey, I am Viking. Um, so yeah, what do we need to do? It's the exhibit itself. Your temperature needs to be warm up. Get up to 26. Your layout. Um, not yet researched. Search that Goliath frog for me. Seventy-eight percent. So if I go to zoo, if I go to my animals, I can sort by welfare. So you guys aren't happy, and I've got to sort out the monkeys as well. Welfare of 90. Increase the average overall. Oh, damn it. But you're unhappy because temperature and humidity. And your humidity is way too much. Let's bring that to 50. That helps massively. Back to the animals. Uh, why are you so unhappy? Your nutrition, nourishment, requires a keeper. Let's get a keeper. Oh, finally, a keeper's come in. I should focus them up in here. And you should get some nourishment, which is good. And I just will keep her. Come in, do the feeding. Right, and back to the animals. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're all sorted then. They're somewhere in here. Yeah, they're much happier now. What level are we at now? 81%. So I need to go sort out. Bonobo monkeys. How can we make your life better, guys? Got food. You need some hard shelter. I need some enrichment. Keyboard. Mirror mobile. Oh, they're, all, they're all having some food, that's awesome. Sitting on their little platform. Monkey business. Right, how does that affect their welfare? 79. We need some. It's. Oh, food enrichment. Okay. Taking their welfare up to 90, which is all we needed. Well, it's overall, isn't it? 84%. Okay, let's keep keep sorting out any animals. Pedro, you're not very happy. Why, my friend Pedro? Why? Hey, Pedro. Your temperature, you're too hot. Drop it down, that should make you nice and happy. Peace, love. Thanks for tuning in, dude. You're very specific about your... Oh, no, you're still too hot. 30. That should have you spot on. Still at 84%. Okay, ring-tailed lemurs. Away! What up with you guys? can we do to make you better social base insufficient or crowding issues are present yeah, let's pause things mm -hmm. social adult population size There's not enough space for you guys. I could release some of you into the wild. Probably the easiest thing to do, isn't it? Kevin! Let's set Kevin free. No, we can't release Kevin. Right now. Now they're all super happy. 88%. Okay. Just need to fix. One more animal's welfare, hopefully. There. Everyone's pretty darn happy right now. Let's tweak it a little bit more. If I can improve theirs a smidge. Ah, oh, here we go. Species toy enrichment. Okay, so if I can give them a little bit more toy enrichment, that might be good. 
species, and these are the tail here, tail lemurs. Right, now they're not, they're not happy about space. Right, they're fine. Well, if I was 81. Oh, that's food. Whoops. Sorry. Ah, we're up there. Boom. Is that enough to get us where we need to be? Okay, we can sort out the red rough lemur. Go to you guys. Go next door. What's up with you guys? You guys are super cute though. Look at your fluffy tails. Um, right, what's up with you guys? You need toy enrichment. Everyone wants some toy enrichment. This time we'll make sure I'm actually on the toy enrichment. Toy enrichment, I'll give you a block of ice. Full ball. And we'll give you a mirror mobile. That should. Lovely job there. Done it! You should be proud of yourself. Not only have you expanded the zoo and kept the animals as happy as Larry, but you didn't bankrupt us in the process. Amazing. <sighs> oh my god, well, everything's so bright and wide. <laughs> Wonderful new exhibit, some fascinating new species, and you've done wonders for the animals' welfare by enriching their habitats. There we go. <laughs> Who doesn't love playing with a three foot wide soccer ball, huh? Well, we completed the Madagascan <laughs> Simian Conservation Project. Huzzah! I'm sure it wasn't easy, though. I expect money was tighter than a possum's pouch. I actually well, didn't have to worry about money at all, mate. Into the welfare of the animals doesn't make running these places a picnic. Although, it does make me feel a little less guilty about how much our gift shops charge. <laughs> <sighs> no. Right. As far as I'm concerned, the only reason to run a zoo is to help animal kind. Sadly, it appears some other people have far less noble goals. Okay. Right, well, uh, I'm assuming I can escape now. We can um, exit to main menu. Uh, I guess save zoo. She may put a save in when we did that last mission. Oh, wow. I've transformed back to human. Yeah, right. We can go back to the main menu. And we can do the next mission. Although, I'll probably actually wrap things up here for today. Now that we complete that one. That's probably a good place to um, to pause. A friend of mine... A friend of your girlfriend's actually head zookeeper for a zoo in Kansas. Hey. Awesome. Hey. Nice. Right. Well, guys. Um, if I get all my videos done tomorrow that I want to get done... Um, I will try and do another stream tomorrow afternoon around about probably 4 p.m. So around about sort of this time tomorrow, I'll try and do another stream on Planet Zoo. And uh, we'll do the Bear Essentials, the Panda Park, which sounds absolutely awesome. So we'll aim to go through that one. And if during the course of the stream tomorrow we get to 100 subscribers or more, I will put on my Lion onesie. So I'll, I'll dig that out tonight just in case. But yeah. Thank you all for tuning in. If you've been watching this on YouTube and you like what you see, let me know that you'd like to see more Planet Zoo on the channel and I'll do more live streams and more YouTube recordings. Until the next one, ciao for now.